what is up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video um if you watched my tiktok if you watched my tiktoks recently you know that i promised that i in the video that i made that i would post a tutorial on how i did that trick so this is the tutorial now and i'm gonna do the performance first so let's go okay so as you can see here i have an entirely normal deck of cards i'm just gonna go through all of them really quickly so we can get on to the trick so normal deck of cards right here and what i would do is if i had a spectator i would go through all the cards and i would ask them to just tell me when to stop whenever they want at any card let's just say they stopped at the two of diamonds just right there i would just say pretty good card pretty good card not going to complain about that card but i would just flip over the deck and then i would show them that i have no idea where their card is but i know what this card is this card is the eight of hearts right here and i don't know where their card is in the deck but i think i can find it with this card so what I would do is I would just take the deck just like this and I would just go one, two, one, two, and a three. And now their card has appeared at the top of the deck. Remember, their card is not second, third, fourth, or fifth from the top. It's just a normal card right here, not anywhere. Now, for the tutorial. <sighs> okay, now this is the tutorial. So, for this tutorial, there's going to be two parts to the trick, okay? One part is going to be getting the card control to the top, and the other part is going to be doing the change, okay? But I didn't do this in the TikTok, but I'm just going to do it in the performance because it seems really cool. Okay, so for the first part, you're just going to show the person that it's a normal deck. It can be, it, it's not a setup, it can, it's just improv too. It's, it's just, it, there's no setup for the trick. So you just go through the cards, you'd be like, okay, it's just a completely normal deck. And then when you, when you go through the cards one more time to ask them when to stop, all you're going to do is you're going to twist the cards to the side just a little bit. And you could say like, uh, can you not see them? I'll just twist it like this. You don't want to make it such a big deal. You just want to be like, okay, going through the cards. Can you not see it clearly? I'll just, I'll just turn it like that and then keep going. So you're going to go through the cards. And once you do that, you're just going to tell them when to stop whenever they want. Let's say they stop here at the four of diamonds. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this hand and you're just going to hold them like this in one pile. And when you put all the cards back on top of it, you're going to hold a pinky break or a flesh break in between the cards. So you're going to stack them on top of each other. And then there you have your flesh break in between where your card is right here where their card is right here and the next card so you have the cards just like this with the flesh break in between right there and what you're going to do is you're going to take one hand you're going to put it over the top pile you're just going to put it on top of the top pile holding it firm just like this so it's not out of the out of your grasp and what you're going to do with the second part is you're going to hold it with this hand with your index finger pushing in on the deck and then all your other fingers right here resting on it. And your thumb is just right here. So what you're going to do is while this deck is covering up everything that's happening, you're just going to switch from here to here. So all you're doing is you're just pushing up with your index finger like this. You're just pushing up with it and it goes into here. So from right here, it just looks like that. And I've already done it. It's going to make a T-shape. So you want to just make it a T-shape just like that. So that you just want to remember to make it a T-shape. So here here, right here on top of the deck, just like that, okay? And then the next part you're gonna do is once after you have, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, so once after you have that, what you're gonna do is as you're twisting the deck fully rotated, just like that, as you're twisting it, you're also going to twist the top deck with it. So you're gonna get into the T, as you twist it this way, you're just gonna twist the deck that way and bring it fully up. So right here, get into the T, flip the deck with it, and it just looks like that. So in full motion, all it looks like is T here, and then flip the deck over. It really doesn't look like you're doing anything, but really what you're doing is you're just going here, here, just like that. You want to let go of the break, but I'm not going to do that yet. Okay, so you have it here, and then once you get your T, just like that, now your card, now their card is controlled to the top. So now for the second half of the trick. Okay, now for the second part of the trick. So remember, in the last part of the trick, we did our we did our T, and then we flipped the deck, and everything come back to normal. So now the second half, you have your card control to the top, and what you're going to do is you're just going to do a double lift. If you don't know how to do one, I suggest you just learn from one of the tutorials. I haven't put one up yet, but I will if you want me. If you really want me to, comment down below if you do. 
but you're just going to do a double lift and flip over the card just like that. And you're just going to set it down right here. Now, this is two cards, so you want to be careful holding it. It should be pretty fine because you have a firm grip on it. But anyways, so what you're going to do is you're going to... Sorry for the noise, that's just my sister's. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold it at three points. You're going to push pressure on the card with at three points. So one point is going to be your thumb on the top left. Whatever your dominant hand, whatever you hold the cards in usually, or you spread through the cards in, that's the hand you're going to use. So whichever hand you want. But you, I, I'm my left hand. I use my left hand, so I'm just going to use my left hand. So one point is going to be your thumb on the top left corner or the top right corner, whichever whichever hand you use. And then your index finger is going to come up here and contact the top right corner, just like that. And then your pinky is going to come down and contact the bottom left corner, just right here. I know it sounds complicated, but it's really not. These two fingers right here, they're just going to be off to the side for now. They can be like here, but they're not really on the deck or doing anything right now. So once you have that grip right here, I suggest you slant it just a little bit just so it's easier to get hold on because my deck is like kind of old and stuff. So it, it's really hard to do the trick. But anyways, so once you have it right here, what you're going to do is once your hand is covering it, what's really happened underneath it is your pinky is pulling back on the card. So your pinky is pulling back on the card, okay? And it's just going to go into here. So nothing else is moving, okay? It's just your pinky... It's just pulling down on the card. Sorry, that's two cards. My deck does that sometimes. So you're just pulling down. This this thumb is supposed to be protecting this card from like loosening up like I just showed you. But you're going to pull it down with your thumb. And once you pull it down all the way, it should end up right... It should end up right there. Okay, right there. Just like that. And all your hands are just supporting the card right here. So, in, so right here... From where the uh, audience is seeing it or the spectator is seeing it, it's covered up so they can't really see this part. So what you're going to do after you have this right here is you're going to take all your hands, all your fingers, and just get the card to the bottom of the deck. So back again, I'm just going to do the move. I'm just going to do the move like that. Once you have the card here, you're just going to use all your hands. You can hold the deck if you want like this. You're going to use all your fingers and just pull it to the bottom of the deck. Sorry I had to stop the video there. My mom was calling me to do something for her. So just to recap, you have your three points, thumb, index, and pinky. Your pinky pulls down the card, nothing else moves. Comes back here. Sorry, that's not supposed to happen. But it comes back here. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it right there, okay. Comes here, and then you take all your fingers with it, push it, you're just gonna grab it and pull it to the bottom. If you want, you can hold the deck for support, but I don't think that's necessary. And then once you have it there, you can pull the card out and be like, boom, just like that. So in fast motion, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So in fast motion, it looks like this. Okay, so that's what it looks like at first in fast motion, but you get the, you get the gist of it, okay. So that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and, you know, just subscribe if you're new, if you really want to. You don't have to, but please subscribe. It'll help me out a lot. And, yeah, if you want to see the tutorial of the TikTok I made where I took the card and just made it change it to a different card instantly, I will put a tutorial on that up um, probably in about maybe three days or so, three to four days or so. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, that's it for the video. Peace.